you have a mentor that I just love. And now he's become Is it Mark Mark Bell? Bell? <laughs> and, and now he's everybody's favorite person in the whole world and i'm so mad because i'm like wait i i had knew him first and now everybody loved this man really, really Porter cool. was very much ours he was ours for a long time and now we got to share him with the world it's i'm so so happy for him i'm so honored to be attached to him in any way shape or form but um he um, told me I was doing a show with him. Um, him. He was directing me in Texas. And he said, you need to move to New York immediately. And I told him, I don't know if I feel ready. And he goes, you sound stupid. And then I moved. <laughs> and, and everything else is history. Billy Porter. I'm sorry, what was that? How did you end up meeting Billy Porter? Um, he was directing a show called Five Guys Named Mo in Texas. Um, he had the audition in New York. I was very new to the city. I, I went to the audition and he was like, okay, you, that's how I want, I want you to sing like that for, for the rest of your career. And I thought it was just him being very kind. But once we started working together in Texas, he was really committed to helping me grow my career, focus my career. And he's been completely instrumental ever since then. So that was... Ooh, a little over 10 years ago. Yeah, most people don't know that he was already on the scene long before we met him oh, and his fantastic yeah. work in, po in Pose. Mm -hmm. um, and um, what do you say you have learned from such a Broadway um, professional? To be um, un, um, unflinchingly yourself. Um, he is so unique and special and he never tried to be something else to make people feel comfortable or to make, um, or to try to fit into a square that, that wasn't for him. Um, and now he's in this perfect spot that is completely couture for him. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and that's something that I've, I've learned by our conversations and just by watching him to be authentic, authentic, authentic. 